Um, if you're going to lose somebody, then they weren't really yours in the first place. Just like your partner. You can't covet people. You can't force people to do something. You know, you got to allow people to live. And if they decide that, you know, oh, today I'm going to watch this streamer because what you're doing is not particularly good, then great. You know, you've made somebody else's stream, you know, streamer happy. And I'm good with that, you know. I've never been a selfish person. So what kind of stuff do you stream? I know I should have read the shout out thing, but um, I'm getting used to these new glasses. And uh, whereas before I could kind of make out what people were saying through my top lenses, um, then I would have to move closer to the bottom ones. And right now I need to figure out the distance between me and the phone to be able to see it. Because I do have a PC, obviously, but um, I actually, when I'm doing paint by numbers, I have my phone just here. I don't think you can see the corner of it just there and it gets really difficult to see. I'm at uh, 1.7K followers and there's a point where I was getting between 30 and 60 people on average, but I stopped playing the game that drew those people in. Uh, the community was getting too toxic for my liking. Now I'm lucky if I get 10 people. Oh, that's horrible. Do you know what? That is honestly one of the biggest reasons why I decided um, to be a variety streamer because I do a lot of car games and stuff and I got quite a uh, quite a popular for doing my car games which I love doing but then I noticed as soon as I did a different game no one was watching and this was back in the time that I was like interested in I mean I'm always interested in new followers you know because it just it means that you're doing something properly right and um, then I just decided you know what I, I streamed for me and, and for company and some fun and then I decided to just not care who's going to be in here. You know, if someone comes in, amazing. If no one comes in, well, today wasn't the day that people wanted to watch what you were doing. I, I gave up. It, it, the problem is with Twitch and YouTube and stuff, it, it all seems to be like an attack on your personality. If you If you get what I mean. So like you're playing this one game, whatever that one game may be, and then people like you and they like that game right then all of a sudden you try and play something else and i'm sure you went through this because i did you try and play something else and then no one comes in and then you think well i thought people liked me and then you you're like oh so they were just in here because of the game and then you start to doubt yourself and that was a little bit of a yeah i realize this is, yeah exactly so so i just thought you know what sod it I, I, I do my paint by numbers. I'm doing these particular ones for my grandchildren as presents. The right? circle of oh, my genius knows no bounds. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Veron, Veron here. I, I'm sorry for swearing then. I, I tell you why, right? I, I normally use this headset here. Right? It's an Audio Technica headset. And I normally have this one on. Right? Um, but unfortunately, since I've changed my glasses, <laughs> you're still awake, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I've just changed my glasses, um, they're hurt in the back of my head. So I'm using my IEMs from my bedroom. And uh, because they're right in my ear, I haven't turned down the alerts for me. So when you did that, <laughs> it just made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> so yeah, but I appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. That is genuinely appreciated. But yeah, I, I do all kinds of stuff. I was playing Starfield for a while, which I'm, I, I, I did a lot of hate on the game. And now I see there's loads of mods and I'm thinking I might continue to play through that. Um, I play a lot of early access stuff. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I was stalking Steam Profile. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. I just decided, you know, if I come in as a variety streamer right that then kind of stops the people that just want to watch me to do that one game or that one thing you know um this is well i was doing fallout 4 which i've been struggling with mods because i don't know how to use mod manager uh do you know what i'm learning it myself right now and i did it with um i've done the dlss uh mod for starfield i've done the uh inventory mod and i've done the weight mod 
right? Um, there's a new mod manager too that you can get from their Discord right now, which actually makes it a lot easier to put the mods in. And it actually comes with this wicked tutorial as well. Uh, the one game I was stuck stream for so long uh, during a lot of stream snipers and drama lovers. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised, and and, and that's that's scummy in it. But unfortunately, it's the way of the world these days. The problem is, is that it seems to me, and this is the granddad in me saying this now, it seems to me that everybody likes the toxicity side of things. No one's really interested in people who are genuine, nice, and whatever else. They want to see somebody make somebody else fail, you know? Like, get that extra kill and then laugh at them because it's funny to them. You know, it's the same old adage of uh, laughing at somebody that's fallen over. You know, some of us, you know, are really sorry for the person that's fell over, but we still like to laugh because it's funny. You know, it just is. But unfortunately, we kind of live in a bit of a culture now where, you know, toxicity seems to be the most popular thing. I'm glad I read you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, so people are only coming into my chat to get a lobby code or a chick. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. I I've never done it. I'm, I'm going to do it in my Discord. I'm I was going to do a couple of giveaways for a couple of games that I got from Humble Bundle and stuff, you know, um, to my community, the people that actually bother to come back to watch me, the people that give me encouragement. No, really, you seem the kind of person I would love to be friends with. Oh, that's... that's wow that's so nice well my my discord is in the description um somewhere actually can i get this up i'm, I'm right this is a whole oh there we go there we go there that's all of them but <laughs> it wasn't the button i wanted to press but yeah now you got the whole lot <laughs> you're more than welcome to join um I, i'm not the type of person that you can't message um, I've noticed a lot of people, they kind of, some of them are just because they're overwhelmed, like they're really popular. So it, it's unreasonable to kind of expect everybody's message to come through. But I am, I'm an approachable person. I don't, you know, if, if you want to chat to me, message me. I've got no issue with that at all. None whatsoever. And I, I, I got to be honest, as glad as you are that you raided me, I am equally as glad that you raided me. Because I've met somebody else now that seems to be fantastic. You know, you seem like a really nice person. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, we all need lots of friends. We all need lots of people. And you never know, there might be something I could do to help you. There might be something that you could do to help me. And by knowing each other now, we have the ability of using that skill. When we didn't know each other, we had no ability. So... The only thing that you have to understand about me is, is that I, because I've been taking a lot of medication and I'm really tired and some days I get really ill, my memory is not what it used to be. Like I used to be able to remember conversations verbatim from like 10, 20 years ago. But nowadays somebody tells me their name and it's like, who, who are you again? <laughs> and a lot of people, strangely enough, they kind of take offense to that. Oh, I'm the king of memory issues. <laughs> I love it. But some people take offense to it because they, they feel like, wow, I've come in here and I've, I've done this for you and you can't even bother to remember my name. And it's like, it's not a personal thing. It's just, it's just life, I guess. Yeah, uh, he's a goldfish. <laughs> yeah, the brain fog is awful. I tell you, I, talking of brain fog, fog um, people keep, um, suggesting to me to try this lion's mane. You know the mushroom supplement that doesn't have any of the psychedelic stuff in it? Apparently, and I've spoken to a few people that I actually do trust, right? Um, for them, they've said it's actually worked. It clears up the brain flog. Fog. Flog. Jesus. Uh, yeah, the brain fog. I mean, I can't endorse it and say otherwise because I've I've never personally tried it. Um, one of the reasons that I haven't tried it is, is when I was looking on Amazon's, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, reviews, 
a few people were saying in there that if you suffer with panic attacks beforehand, this can make them worse for some people. And I have to be honest, my panic attacks were so debilitating, I'm not sure that I have the guts to um, to just take it. I might do. I, I might do. Because if it stops the brain fog, that would be amazing. Because brain fog is not funny. It's really not. It's irritating. I've got a friend of mine who gets... He gets... How can I put it? He gets pissed off with me. Let's put it that way, right? Because he explained something to me like one or two days ago. And I, I, I'm I, talking to him and I understood what he said at the time. And then two or three days later, we'll be doing exactly the same thing. And I'll ask him the same questions. And he's like, I literally explained this to you the other day. We literally did the same thing that we're doing now. How do you not remember it? And then he keeps saying to me, oh, you should write on your whiteboard, write in your notepad. But it, at this point, it's getting to the point now where I'd have to write down my entire bloody life experience, you know, and then sit and read it back. No, I don't know. But yeah, I actually look forward to talking, you, talking to you too as well. 1.7k viewers, that's impressive. Really impressive. I've only been doing this for a, well, just over a year now. Unfortunately, I was ill on my one year anniversary for Twitch, which was a real pain because I, I wanted to do something special for that. But it is what it is, you know, move on, and do something new. Um, but yeah, I used to be affiliate. I made affiliate in, uh, I wish I could get that in viewers. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you. Um, what was it? I, I used to be affiliate. I made affiliate in less than five days. Um, but I, I bec I'm disabled. Um, again, it's another part of my life I'd tell you about. Um, I broke my back like 28, 29 years ago. So I'm, I'm, I'm able to walk, but I'm always in constant pain. I take high levels of painkillers, morphine and that kind of stuff or morph. Um, and I obviously I, I I get government checks each month, and uh, I didn't know, but apparently Twitch is is classed as a job. So uh, I had to leave the affiliate program because you know how unreliable that this Twitch thing can be. Like one month you could earn quite a lot of money, the next month you'd earn nothing, and unfortunately, or fortunately, which whatever way you want to look at it is, I have a beautiful family. And I have a house to look after and I have grandkids and children to look after and stuff. And I can't afford to take that risk on our home. So I decided to leave the affiliate program because, and as a lot of my regulars will know and probably be really bored of hearing this now, because I say this a lot, I don't do this to become rich and famous. I did this for company and that's it. Company and confidence. So the money is, you know, it is what it is. I still get the occasional gifts from people. Like, you know, if they, if there's a game that they want me to play, they invariably end up looking at my like, wish list on, on Steam and stuff. And some of them will, will gift it or whatever. And I, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm blown away that people do that kind of thing, especially in today's economy. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I do. I just wish I could do it a little more often. But that's the reason for going to the doctors and I need to ring and tell my wife so why I'm about the doctor phoning because I'm not sure that she's in here. She always says she is, but like when I, I, I when I ask her, it's like, oh, did you see this? Oh, no. Oh, I popped in in the beginning and then and then something happened and I come out and it's like, yeah, did you pop in though? <laughs> if I can't attract my wife to watch my streams, what chance have I got with anybody else? <laughs> But then, my wife is subjected to this crap 24 7. <laughs> Whereas you get the ability of turning the channel over. So I'll give her a pass. This is definitely coming out well.
Do you know, that cheered me up so much. I've just sat and listened to myself in the last 10, 20 minutes. And that's just, you've just made my day feel so much better. Just by a simple raid. I thank you. We use the same mic. Ah, yes. Well, my, my microphone, my microphone is, was the biggest steal I think I've ever had. So, um, I used to use a HyperX Cloud microphone. Um, and, uh, I, I always had a few issues with it, with it picking up my dog. Like, right now, my dog is going ham in the background. Like, hurting my ears, but you guys can't hear it, right? So, um, I was looking on YouTube one night, not YouTube, I was looking on eBay one night. I, I can't even remember what I was looking for. And then up in, uh, in the most balanced of terms of price and quality. Yeah, it really is. So, um, I, I didn't, have I not updated it? I don't think I've updated it. So, so anyway, I was looking for eBay. And then this thing popped up and it said, Sure SM7B microphone, £60, buy it now, free postage, brand new, boxed. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, there's got to be a typo or a scam, right? There ain't no way on God's green earth uh, that PC is a beast. Yes, it is. Oh, I'll tell you a story about that in a sec. Um so I, I i i looked at it. it the the thing had been up for like five minutes right and it was i could buy it on paypal so um i i kind of is that no it's just a mark um so i was like do you know what a 400 pound microphone for 60 pounds it's gonna be a scam right uh, yeah <laughs> so i just thought well if it's a scam I'll get it through PayPal, and if it turns up to be a brick or a bottle of water or it just don't work, I'll just send it back. No harm, no foul. Cut a long story short, I spoke to the guy. He was just desperate for money, right? And uh, he needed to pay bills by the end of the week. And he said, I'm going to send it to you. He said, just because I've been legit, he said, don't trust other people. And I'm thinking, is this going to be legit? Am I really going to get an SM7B for £60? Lo and behold, it turned up, it was boxed, brand new, never opened, and it's worked, and I now own a Shure SM7B. Uh, my boys bought me a Focusrite Solo, um, and uh, my, my missus got me a cloud lifter for it, and that's what I'm using now, a Shure SM7B. But I have the, I have the uh, HyperX Cloud one because I'm disabled, like I'm in my computer room right now. Um, but I'm still upstairs, obviously. Uh, but when my back's gone and I can't get out of bed, or if I'm too ill to get out of bed, but I still want to stream, I have another gaming PC uh, that's in my passage for the bedroom, and that's the one that's got my um, HyperX Cloud microphone on. So I can I can still play games, I can still stream, and you know whatever's wrong with me at the time, I can still do the things that I enjoy doing. But yes, I, I, I have n I hadn't have no complaints with the uh, with the HyperX Cloud microphone. Do you use um, uh, Do you use any VTSs with that? Like to change your sound profile and stuff. Uh, it, 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 when you go, if you got filters on your microphone, so like you can have a filter to 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 make your voice sound more bassy. Um, you can have filters to to add more treble, take out mid range, add mid range, uh, like a Go XL. No, no, no. This is all software based. Within, uh, uh, do you use Streamlabs or do you use OBS? No, you don't mess with that stuff. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. OBS, cool. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, when I finished, when I finished doing this, I shall go and have. A, do you have VODs on your um, on your stream, or do you just record and that's it? Because like, I generally keep my VODs on there for people to see. Because some people actually do watch them, believe it or not. Cool. Okay, I'll go back and and uh, 
take a listen because like i've I, like I said i've got that microphone and i know it's i know it's little foibles and i can send you some stuff on discord um that will help you a sound a lot better if needed um it's all free by the way and it's all in obs and it's it, it's just all stuff to make you feel better if you want to see funny content though my youtube is better for that well hopefully on your twitch i'll find your youtube um and then i'll i'll subscribe to your youtube channel as well because like i said we've got our lp each other out i don't care what anyone says it's true i have a youtube channel and i've got i think i've got 283 subscribers right here Did that, that i don't think i've done it for that one again what i'll do is, is I, i'm sorry to do that to you that's that there that bump that i just put up there that's all of my socials discord youtube instagram which i don't think i've ever posted on i've got tiktok most of these i, I haven't put a lot of it on because i kind of felt ill after i did this okay cool or it's on my about me page in twitch or or on my about me page on youtube as well but yeah i can i can definitely help out if i if i hear anything that maybe may or may not be wrong with your microphone i'm not saying that there is i'm not saying that there isn't but once i have a look i'll see if i can help Yes, I do, I do like it every now and again when there's a big piece to paint. It really does look like I've done a lot, but I haven't really. Um, okay, I just got back. I was playing in the garden. Nice. I envy you being able to get out into the garden. Like most people envy me because I said I've got an air conditioner in my bedroom and, and a, in the computer room. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's all very well and nice, but what i'd like to do is get out in the garden and sit under the sprinkler or you know under a parasol and have a nice ice drink but it's not meant to be it's not like i can't but you know just noticed i'm starting to get some pain in my back which must mean i'm coming up to the hour so i generally do between an hour and two hours of paint by numbers and i try to do them almost every day because um a i want to get this picture done for my granddaughter and b it, if i can't do any other streaming today of games at least I've done something. I've I've made my day productive. Um, but I generally only do like between an hour and two hours. It basically, it all depends on how painful my back gets. Because the position that I sit in, I, I have to sit forward because I can't sit in a computer chair. Because I bought a secret labs chair. Um, and uh, I had to sell it because it was just too uncomfortable for me. Um, Chris, supplies. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that bloody work? Hang on. Sometimes this works without the exclamation mark. It's not even right, is it? Hang on. Supplies. <laughs> there we go. Now she's working. Yeah, sometimes it works without the exclamation mark and sometimes it don't. I don't really understand why. But welcome in, Chris. How are you doing today? Let me give you a shout out. I'm actually going to be on the ball for a chance. Here we go. I'm hearing that command before. What? Supplies? 
that was uh, that was me one night on a friend of mine's stream where we were, we were playing. What was it? Yeah, it was definitely when Fob or Luna raided you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, everybody. I, I, there was a joke uh, about somebody coming out of a company. It was a dad joke while we were playing Snow Runners. And uh, I, I, uh, that night I'd had. Uh, so that's the story behind NASA quality of the PC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, I, uh, what was that? What was I just saying? Yeah. So I, I'd had a couple of, I'd had a, I did a couple of little drinks, you know, a little, little cheeky port here and there. And, uh, I had also taken some, some medication and stuff and I was having a good time and, and somebody was telling dad jokes and I'm kind of a sucker for dad jokes, even bad ones. I just think they're funny. Right. And then I actually forget what the joke was, but, um, the the punchline was what do they do what do they say when they jump out of a wardrobe or something and then they just that somebody said ah oh, supplies right and for some unknown reason i thought it was hilarious i was literally sat there for 10 minutes with tummy rumbling laughter and then i just sort of kept on going ah oh, supplies and then of course somebody then recorded it clipped it and it is it's literally between my friend circle and, and streamers that i know it's literally gone viral with a, there we go there we go <laughs> yeah so that was where that was born <laughs> i have so many good memories of streaming and it's why i love it so much I've met so many fantastic people. I really have. Like people that have actually become quite close personal friends. You know, and, and it was all just from streaming. Uh, somebody named, yeah, Don. Yeah, who is that? Some Don. I don't remember that name so much. He seems like a very forgettable person. He sounds like the type of guy that doesn't have a mug. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't pointed out the fact that I don't have mugs. He just wears the, the, uh, the, you know, wears the joke about flipping it round because it'd be quite easy to. Command. What's my one? Uh, I think my one is exclamation mark sounds or just sounds. I think it's been a while since I've done anything to my stream, to be honest. There are a few sounds. You got the, the like the standard ones that that's what she said. I also have a because I'm not affiliate. Um, I, I still manage to get channel points and stuff. And I have a I have a stream element store where you can spend points on jump scare. Oh, my God. I just I better turn them down. That's going to I'm going to have a bloody heart attack um, to do jump scares and hydrate and all of that kind of fun stuff. Um because I feel like I understand why Twitch doesn't make too much of a, a fuss over people like me, people who are not really making money for them. I get it. But it would be nice if people like us actually still had the ability of using some of the stuff that you get when you're affiliate. You know, just like the channel points would be lovely, you know, for people to be able to for a bit more interaction with people, you know, running running all this kind of stuff easily rather than having to figure out how to do it third party way you know what i mean uh i try and forget that name uh because he's chonker status draws me in each time yes no, i get you <laughs> many ets drunk karaoke streams and so far i could imagine i could uh, honestly i could imagine Talking of karaoke, I actually sung on a karaoke stream the other day. Fortunately, the source doesn't keep any VODs, so you can't go back and find out my embarrassing time. But yes, I did. I actually sung. And I sung... Uh, what did, oh, uh, sorry, I say sung. I murdered... <laughs> um, Neil Diamond's Hello... Hello. Yes. Uh, is this, uh, 
I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> Not Don the Chunk. Yes, it is. It's Donald the Chunkington. Re if, uh, if such a nice guy. He's such a lovely bloke. I, I got all the time in the world for Don. He's one of the nicest people I've met. He, he spent a lot of time with me, helping me out in the beginning when I was doing this. We played a lot of games together. We talked to each other like off stream and whatever else. He's just such a down to earth, really lovely guy. And he deserves all the luck and success in the world. I know Don the Chunk, yeah. I know him quite well. We, he, he, he even sent me foot pics. That, that's how close we are. Just saying, you know. <laughs> 